Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky is a seminal work in Russian literature that delves into complex themes of morality, guilt, and redemption. The novel is set in the grim and oppressive atmosphere of 19th century St. Petersburg and follows the story of Rodion Romanovich Raskolnikov, a destitute and desperate former student who conceives a plan to kill a pawnbroker for her money. Dear Valued Supporter We appreciate your ongoing support for our channel. For those seeking additional ways to contribute, we offer subscriptions on Patreon and Boosty, providing exclusive perks as a token of gratitude. Join our community and let's enhance this journey together. If you prefer an alternative, PayPal donations are also warmly welcomed. Your generosity helps maintain and improve our content. Whether through Patreon, Boosty, or PayPal, your support is crucial in sustaining our channel. Thank you for considering these options. Links will be indicated in the description of the video. Plot Overview The novel begins with Raskolnikov's internal conflict about committing a crime. He believes that by murdering the unscrupulous pawnbroker, Alyona Ivanovna, and using her wealth for good deeds, he can justify the act. Raskolnikov follows through with his plan, killing Alyona Ivanovna and her innocent half-sister, Lizaveta, who unexpectedly witnesses the murder. After the crime, Raskolnikov is haunted by guilt and paranoia, leading to severe psychological turmoil. He becomes physically ill and mentally unstable, struggling with his conscience and the fear of being caught. Dostoevsky expertly captures the protagonist's descent into madness as he grapples with the consequences of his actions. The novel delves deep into themes of morality, justice, and redemption, exploring Raskolnikov's interactions with other characters, including the compassionate Sonia, and the cunning police inspector, Porfiry. Theme of Alienation One of the central themes of crime and punishment is alienation. Raskolnikov is profoundly isolated from society. He believes he is an extraordinary person with a unique destiny, which separates him from others. Dostoevsky illustrates this through Raskolnikov's thoughts, he was so deeply occupied with his solitary reasoning that he met people as though he were passing through a mist. This sense of isolation is crucial to understanding his psychological landscape and his justification for murder. Raskolnikov's detachment is evident in his relationships, he pushes away his mother and sister and struggles to connect with anyone, including Sonia. His alienation intensifies his internal conflict and guilt, driving him further into madness. Ultimately, his isolation is both a cause and effect of his crime, illustrating how his separation from society contributes to his downfall. Morality and Conscience The theme of morality is explored through Raskolnikov's theory that certain individuals possess the right to commit crimes if their purpose is to improve human suffering. However, the reality of his theory clashes with his moral conscience after the murder. Raskolnikov struggles with intense guilt and paranoia, suggesting that no one is inherently entitled to bypass societal laws. Dostoevsky uses Raskolnikov's suffering to argue that conscience cannot be escaped, the fear of what my thought had predicted had overtaken me in reality. This inner conflict is central to the novel, illustrating the psychological torment that comes with committing an immoral act. Raskolnikov's ultimate realization that he cannot live without moral consequences underscores Dostoevsky's message that ethical integrity is crucial for human existence and peace of mind. The novel delves deeply into the repercussions of disregarding moral and societal norms. Redemption and Suffering Redemption is another pivotal theme in the novel. Raskolnikov's path to redemption is fraught with suffering. His eventual confession to the police and his subsequent sentence to Siberia signify his acceptance of societal norms and the moral laws he tried to defy. This suffering is portrayed as a necessary step for his spiritual awakening. Throughout the novel, Raskolnikov battles with his conscience, reflecting on his crime and its implications. His interactions with Sonia, who embodies compassion and forgiveness, play a crucial role in his journey toward redemption. The scene where Raskolnikov finally embraces the Bible signifies his moral reconciliation and the beginning of his true punishment. In Siberia, his physical suffering mirrors his internal torment, but it also marks the start of his transformation. By accepting his guilt and seeking forgiveness, Raskolnikov begins to find a sense of peace, suggesting that redemption is attainable through suffering and repentance characters and relationships. The characters surrounding Raskolnikov play crucial roles in highlighting the novel's themes. Sonia, a prostitute who remains compassionate and steadfast, represents unconditional love and forgiveness. Her influence on Raskolnikov is profound, 
she becomes a symbol of moral guidance and redemption. Sonia's advice, accept suffering and achieve atonement through it, that is what you must do, serves as a moral compass for Raskolnikov. Additionally, his mother and sister, Pulkaria and Dunya, provide emotional support and reflect the family dynamics that influence his actions. Detective Porphyry, who investigates the murders, represents the law and justice. His psychological approach to solving the crime pressures Raskolnikov and contributes to his eventual confession. Each character, from Razumikin, his loyal friend, to Svidrigilov, his sinister adversary, plays a role in Raskolnikov's journey, highlighting various aspects of guilt, redemption, and human connection. Philosophical Depth and Psychological Insight Dostoevsky's narrative is renowned for its philosophical depth and psychological insight. The inner monologues of Raskolnikov provide a deep dive into his conflicted psyche, portraying his intellectual arrogance and moral dilemma. Through these monologues, readers see his justification for the murder, believing himself to be an extraordinary man above the law. The philosophical dialogues, particularly those with the character Porphyry, who is in charge of investigating the murder, expose the protagonist's turbulent thought processes and his eventual unraveling. Porphyry's probing questions and psychological tactics force Raskolnikov to confront his justifications and the reality of his crime. These interactions reveal the internal conflict between Raskolnikov's theory of being a superior individual and the guilt he cannot escape. This exploration of the human mind and moral consequences is a hallmark of Dostoevsky's work, making crime and punishment a profound study of morality and human nature, impact and relevance. Crime and punishment remains profoundly relevant today as it explores timeless questions about the nature of good and evil, the complexities of human conscience, and the demands of justice. Dostoevsky delves into the psychological struggles of his protagonist, Raskolnikov, highlighting how guilt and redemption shape human behavior. The novel challenges readers to question their own moral convictions and the societal laws that govern them, making them reflect on issues like crime, punishment, and the possibility of atonement. It addresses the psychological and emotional consequences of transgressions, showing how they affect not just the individual but also their relationships in society at large. By doing so, crime and punishment continues to provoke thought and debate about the essence of morality and the human condition. In conclusion, Crime and Punishment is a masterpiece that captures the eternal conflict between intellectual arrogance and moral conscience. Through Raskolnikov's story, Dostoevsky invites readers to explore deep moral questions and confronts them with the inevitable consequences of transgressing moral boundaries. The novel is not only a study of a crime but also a study of punishment, both legal and psychological, making it a profound and compelling narrative that resonates with readers across generations.